Tesla CEO Elon Musk has confirmed that more specifics will be added to the newly released Master Plan Part 4. The update came directly from Musk on X, after retail investor and Tesla bull Dave Lee pointed out that the current release feels more like an introduction than a detailed roadmap. Musk responded simply, Fair enough. We'll add more specifics, and those specifics might just include Tesla's most radical battery breakthrough yet. A super aluminum ion battery promising a 10-minute full charge, 1,000 miles of range, and a 27-year lifespan. Numbers that stand in stark contrast to today's lithium-ion packs. But with a new chemistry comes new questions. Is aluminum ion truly safer than lithium ion? Could it avoid the risk of thermal runaway? The chain reaction that makes lithium packs catch fire and even fuel their own burn with oxygen? And if it does, what would that mean for EV owners parking their cars in garages or taking long-distance road trips? We'll break it all down in today's video. This is Auto Gear Shift, your no-nonsense source for straight facts and smart analysis on Tesla and EV tech. We're closing in on 8,321 subscribers. Be part of the few who stay ahead, subscribe now, and turn on the bell before the next big Tesla drop hits. How does Tesla's aluminum-ion battery stack up against lithium-ion when it comes to fire risk? This isn't just a technical detail. It's one of the top concerns we hear from our audience whenever we cover new EV tech. Viewers ask the same question again and again. Are these batteries really safe to park in a garage, to charge overnight, or to drive cross-country without worry? The reality is that today's lithium-ion packs carry a very real risk of thermal runaway. If a cell is punctured in a crash or overheats from a defect, it can trigger a chain reaction. Once ignited, a lithium pack doesn't just burn, it produces its own oxygen supply, which means the fire feeds itself until every combustible material is gone. In numbers the public can grasp, that translates into fires burning at 1,000 to 1,100 degrees Celsius, hotter than molten aluminum, and requiring 20,000 to 30,000 gallons of water to extinguish. Firefighters report that's about 20 times more water than it takes to put out a gasoline car blaze, which explains why EV fires often make national headlines. Aluminum ion, on paper, changes the equation in more ways than one. The chemistry itself is fundamentally different from lithium ion. Instead of relying on flammable liquid electrolytes that can vaporize and ignite, aluminum ion cells often use ionic liquids or solid state-like materials that are far more stable. That alone reduces the likelihood of a runaway event. In controlled lab studies, aluminum ion cells have tolerated operating temperatures approaching 200 degrees Celsius without venting gases or catching fire, while lithium ion packs begin showing instability at roughly 150 degrees. For context, cabin temperatures inside a sealed vehicle parked under summer sun in Arizona or Texas can peak at 65 to 70 degrees Celsius, which is far below either threshold, but still high enough to raise consumer anxiety about lithium ion swelling or failure. An extra 50 degree safety buffer could be the difference between a routine hot day and a dangerous incident. Another crucial point is the absence of oxygen release. When a lithium ion cell ruptures, the electrolyte decomposition liberates oxygen, which feeds the fire. That's why EV fires tend to burn until every reactive element is consumed, often reaching flame lengths of several meters and lasting for hours. Aluminum ion does not share this self-oxidizing characteristic. Even if a short circuit triggers localized heating, the reaction is expected to die out rather than perpetuate itself. For first responders, this could mean the difference between deploying 20,000 gallons of water versus a few hundred closer to the needs of a gasoline vehicle fire. There's also the question of cycle stability. A lithium-ion pack degrades after repeated heating and cooling cycles, sometimes swelling and increasing the risk of internal shorts. Early data on aluminum ion suggests the chemistry remains structurally stable across thousands of cycles. Some reports point to 10,000 charge-discharge cycles, 
which reduces the chance of wear-induced shorts that can trigger fires late in a battery's life. In theory, that longer stability aligns with the projected 27-year lifespan, making catastrophic end-of-life failures less likely. Of course, these results come from university labs and small-scale prototypes. Tesla's challenge will be to validate aluminum ion at the gigafactory level, where cell defects, scaling issues, and long-term abuse testing can reveal hidden vulnerabilities. Still, if the chemistry holds under real-world stress, aluminum ion could effectively neutralize the single biggest public fear of EVS that a parked car might ignite without warning. Do you have trust in this new battery? Type aluminum if you do. Charging range and lifespan. How does aluminum ion stack up? Beyond safety, the next big questions for any EV driver are charging speed, range, and longevity. Areas where Tesla's aluminum ion battery could rewrite the rules. Today, a Model S long range using lithium ion requires roughly 20 to 30 minutes to charge from 10 to 80% at a supercharger station. For drivers, that means stopping on long road trips and waiting, sometimes longer than they'd like, before hitting the highway again. Aluminum ion, by contrast, promises a full charge in just 10 minutes, a figure that brings EV refueling in line with the convenience of filling a gasoline tank. For older drivers or anyone who values time over technical specs, that difference isn't just impressive, it's a game-changer. Suddenly, a cross-country journey doesn't involve lengthy charging breaks, and the car becomes a true plug-and-play alternative to conventional vehicles. Range is the next headline-grabbing metric. The current Model S Long Range achieves about 405 miles per charge, sufficient for most daily use but limiting for long trips across sparsely serviced regions. Aluminum ion projections target a staggering 1,000 miles, or roughly 1,600 kilometers, on a single charge. That's nearly two and a half times the existing range, turning a road trip from the East Coast to the Midwest, or even a full loop around Europe, into a single-leg adventure. For viewers accustomed to planning stops around charging stations, this promise is immediately tangible and exciting. Then comes longevity. Lithium-ion batteries typically last 8 to 12 years, or around 1,500 full charge cycles, before noticeable degradation sets in. Aluminum-ion is aimed at a 27-year lifespan, potentially surviving 10,000 cycles, meaning the battery could outlive the car itself. Put simply, a single aluminum ion pack might power two or three different vehicles across decades, dramatically reducing replacement costs and long-term maintenance concerns. Points to watch. Why aluminum ion could be a game changer. Tesla's aluminum ion battery is still in the experimental phase, but the path to 2026 looks promising. Scaling production to mass market levels will be a challenge, yet Tesla has a track record of turning prototypes into reality faster than most expected. Cost is another area where aluminum ion could shine. While lithium ion packs currently drive high replacement costs, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars, aluminum ion's projected longevity could dramatically reduce the total cost of ownership. One battery might last for two or even three vehicles, giving consumers more value over decades and making high-performance EV ownership more accessible. Infrastructure is improving alongside battery technology. While a 10-minute full charge requires higher power delivery than today's V3 superchargers provide, Tesla is already exploring upgraded stations and grid solutions. Early pilot projects suggest urban and high-traffic routes could see these ultra-fast chargers sooner rather than later meaning long-distance trips could become nearly as seamless as stopping at a gas station. For drivers, that means a future where EVS are not just green and high-tech, but also faster, safer, and more convenient than traditional cars. With production, cost, and charging infrastructure all moving in the right direction, aluminum ion could deliver on its bold promises and redefine what drivers expect from electric vehicles. So, how would a 10-minute full charge change your daily routine or weekend trips? 
Would you feel comfortable leaving your EV parked in a hot garage overnight with aluminum ion safety? And if a single battery could last decades, would you consider keeping your car longer or even passing it on to a family member? Share your thoughts in the comments below, hit that like button if this video helped you understand Tesla's new battery, and subscribe with the bell so you never miss the latest EV news. Let's get Auto Gear Shift to 8,321 subscribers and stay ahead of the EV curve.